with outside time, especially if you have a group of children who are very active. Now, if you can't begin your day outside, but you can change your schedule a little bit, then I would suggest doing some movement activities first in the morning to help them get that energy out, okay? I don't advise doing, I mean, you can, of course, but yoga. So yoga is so calming and relaxing, you know, you're in downward dog and you're just the, the, the mountain. And I don't think that's gonna get enough energy out for the children. So I would do something where they're jumping and they're moving around to really get some of that energy out if you can't start your day with outside time. Also, in the high school curriculum, and you don't have to be using the high school curriculum to do this, but have your children to make a plan before you, before they're allowed to go into the centers. Ask them what they're going to do. What's your plan for today? So your plan is, is you're gonna to go to the block area. What are you gonna do in the block area? That keeps children intentional. It gives them a focus of what they can do during that time of day. So having to make a plan, and it will also help <laughs> you, or help the children, and stop them from wandering around aimlessly. Have you ever seen a child who just could not get engaged with something? Have them to make a plan. Tell me what your plan is going to be today. What are you going to do? That also helps with what we call executive functioning skills, right? That's a higher level skill, and it's a skill that we do every day. Allow boys to stand to do table activities. I can't tell you how many, how many times I thought about this, and I think, and I look back at my previous uh, teaching experience, I don't know what it is with us as teachers, but we feel like that we always have to have children at the table. Okay, we're at the table. Stay right here at the table. The table is our friend. Stay right here at the table. Right? And so what I noticed was is, is that when I allowed them to stand to do table activities, that right there helped them with that because especially if you have a group that's very active and, and, and need to move around. So have them to stand and do table activities and then take their work to the floor. Let them take their work to the floor. Uh, that will also help them um, with getting that energy out as well. 